Giovanni Bartagli ha vinto il giro di Tarra. In our history as a bike company, we moved from steel to aluminum and then to carbon fiber. We have been among the first ones to use carbon fiber. In 1985, we created an innovative bicycle. In those years, most people didn't even know what carbon fiber was. We made bicycles for riders and winners of Tours de France, World Championships, Giros, such as Vicentini, Stephen Roche. The greatest cyclists of that time rode the bikes we made for the Carrera team. Pantani, Machler, Zimmerman. These great athletes won a lot of professional races riding our bikes. And then, 1987 was the high point. We were sponsors of the Carrera team, and Roche's Triple Crown really boosted our popularity as a brand. We would build thousands of frames every year because there weren't any other materials except for steel. From 1981 to 1995, the investments for these machines were substantial. All this to get to the production of a high number of frames. For instance, this machinery is the jig where you put all the pieces of the frame together. It's a pneumatic and articulated machine, which can handle every angle, measurement, and length. With this machine, we can build all kinds of custom sizes to meet the customer's needs. This machine allows us to satisfy the most demanding customers, since we are able to build a broad range of frame sizes, even with a one millimeter variation. Here we have the highest technology available for a steel race frame. We invested in these machines because we wanted a product of the highest quality and greatest efficiency so that we could achieve a significant position in the market. In those years, steel was the only material used to build frames. Then things changed. Aluminum came, then titanium, then carbon fiber. But today, steel is coming back. There are new types of steel of much higher quality compared to the past, because there has been an evolution also of the alloys. Today, we can make a light, safe, and high quality product. For a perfect product, you need to invest in precision machines. That's what we did. It was a sacrifice initially, but then time proved us right. We were able to reduce the time of the process and to produce many more frames. A few years have passed, but these machines are still cutting edge to this day. The manufacturing process is always the same. The frame never changes. The frame angles are still the same. 